we reach out to a public figure or celebrity that's going through a tough time. Tonight, the talented LBC presenter and political author, Ian Dale. Last night, Saturday evening, Ian was at home, channel hopping. I'm genuinely surprised that this deeply charismatic man wasn't attending one of a number of parties. So Ian is home alone and he's flicking channels on his TV. He landed upon Britain's newest, brightest, most exciting national television network, GB News. It was our Christmas special yesterday and we decided on this show that after the year we've had, we would have a mix of some hard-hitting political stories, but a bit of Christmas fun along the way. It's a source of deep personal regret to me that Ian missed another of my big opinion monologues that so often go viral about the state of the nation. Here's last night's one. 68,000 views, all about lockdowns, not too bad. And Ian missed the moment we revealed the news of Lord Frost's departure from the government and the comprehensive analysis that followed. Ian missed all of the brilliant viewer emails that you send me across a range of topics and which are the icing on the cake of this show. Ian missed the newspaper front pages brought to you with wit, energy and a splash of opinion at 11 o'clock. Ian missed my brilliant panel of journalists, broadcasters and comedians. He even missed the great British game show, which we always do before the end of the programme, a fun game created from scratch every day by my incredible team and based on a news story of the day. Last night's game was famous Christmas movie quotes, a game which we called Slay My Name. That's right, we called it Slay My Name. Well done to Caroline for that corker. Ian missed all of those things. The moment Ian's viewing experience was assaulted so egregiously was during the big question. As it was exactly a week until Christmas Day, we decided that rather than tackling a major political or global issue, we'd have a light-hearted debate about which is the greatest Christmas song. And we got some help from the legendary songwriter Mike Batt. The nominees were Bing Crosby, Wham, The Pogues, Mariah Carey, Slade and Shakin' Stevens. Well, Ian was, sh was shaking with rage because he didn't expect to be confronted with this horror. In fact, it's lucky that he wasn't invited to any parties last night because it meant he had the time to get on Twitter and draw attention to this painful experience he just had. He tweeted the following. GB News have their floor manager, Tony, singing the Slade Christmas song. Seriously. Does anyone really watch this absolute shite fest? Well, it's a great question, Ian. Who indeed does watch this shite fest? You, by the looks of it. A point made by many of the 500 people who commented on your post. In fact, let's take a look at some of the responses, shall we? Here we go. Best news channel there is, Ian, said one tweeter. How about this one? Much, much better than what else is on offer. It's a great channel. A breath of fresh air in today's world, said someone else. How about this one? Love GB News. Stopped watching Sky after it launched. And they go on and on. Now, this is a painful episode for me because Ian is a fine broadcaster and I didn't want him to suffer in this way. It was a profound misjudgment on my part at the tail end of a pandemic and the biggest recession in 300 years to offer my viewers some light relief. I shouldn't have done it. What was I thinking? How could I? Now, I should say that many of you did enjoy that particular item. And unlike Ian, there was particular praise for my outstanding floor manager, Tony. Tony was floored by Ian's response. But Tony, the floor manager, has got to know his place. He's not a national broadcaster like Ian Dale. And floor manager Tony should have a serious think about his conduct. Because floor manager Tony was at the heart of this shite fest. And he needs to reflect on that. Tis the season to be jolly. 
But after last night's unwelcome entertainment, Ian Dale is feeling anything but. Who could blame him? And what the hell was wrong with that remote control that took him to GB News? I think we should have a whip round and buy Ian a new telly, one that doesn't take you randomly to GB News. So, Ian, I'm sorry about what happened last night. You deserve better. Ian Dale, we feel your pain.